Okay, so part two of the circus tent is all about the decorating. So, I've got a couple examples. This one I actually painted black and then stretched a uh, cut nylon stocking, just a white, white tights, and stretched them over, hot glued them around the edges, and then did the wraparound ribbon with some glitter and then a base ribbon because this book was actually really skinny so I had to use reinforcements along the bottom. Now everything's hot glued on this except the glitter which is Mod Podge. And I also added one of those spiders you can buy at the 99 cent store and made a flagpole out of a wooden dowel and some paper and Mod Podge and glitter. It's pretty easy. So that's the sideshow tent. It's the circus tent. This one I really love because I did the ticket booth in here. This is just a cut up toilet paper roll which has been hot glued in your opening, underneath your tent opening. And of course it was painted first and glittered. And a window cut out with a little shelf, like a ticket window. I put a sign on this one. But usually I won't. Um, this one's literally just painted like a teal with a polka dot ribbon around it. And the top, if you can see that, is pins and glitter and a contrasting color of paint. And then of course the flagpole is the same as the last, a wooden dowel with paper and Mod Podge and glitter. So, I will glitter, well I will, excuse me, I will not glitter, I will be decorating this one today. This is actually the one you guys saw me working on earlier. Um, I just painted it red, sorry, I kind of skipped a step. But I decided to paint it red, so it's about dry now. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate it. I really recommend using gems if you're going to be decorating with a ribbon around, which I strongly suggest because it really helps it hold its shape when you place it down because it can get a bit wobbly. So I usually use hot glue, 527 works as well, and Mod Podge for the smaller details like glitters and um, sometimes gems, although I like 527 for the gems. So here we go. I do first. I've already picked out some goodies for this, and I actually already pre-made a flag. It's Mod Podge. It's just a white piece of like tissue, thin paper, and in that center where our spine was, I'm actually going to be putting a bit of glue and then ta-da got our flagpole and then this particular tent is going to be red, white, and yellow so I'm going to play with my sequins here Now I like to put them all along the edges here to hold it all together. And we'll go through and clean it up after we're done doing it all, but if you guys are familiar with hot glue, you know you kind of need to work fast if you want it to stay. Right. 
And just so you guys know, in the shop, I do sell glittered elephants, and giraffes, lions, rhinos, even people. Kind of a fun little addition to your circus tent display. Ta-da! Now I'm actually going to do another line of sequins. Down here. Just like that. This will be the marquee sign. Oops, I'm not quite dry there. Probably shouldn't have started gluing yet, but oh well. Do not do this at home. Just out of glue. So we gotta make do. So there you have it. We'll clean it up in a little while, but it's kind of our uh, outline for our circus tent, don't you think? It's a cute one. So I won't jam it all up right now. I won't make you guys sit through that. But that's the basic idea, and I hope that you guys have fun with this. Um, the other option to the opening on these is to fold everything like you did the original circus tent and instead of leaving the cover like this fold them together like you did all the pages and then you can cut an opening and fold them back. It's a little bit more work but it also looks equally as cute and it gives a nice square opening if that's what you're looking for. So anyways, have fun with this craft. I always love it and it's really fun for any circus themed parties or events. So have fun and craft on.